Okay, I'm gonna make a video on programming lights. Uh, this is actually for the people at the Boom Boom Room, St. Louis. We do a dinner theater show, burlesque style dinner theater show. And we have a very large convoluted light show. Um, background basically is, I was very, very poor when we started and started collecting light fixtures. And then somewhere in like 2018, I we did a road show where we had a venue and the road and we put all these fixtures together and then COVID happened and then I uh, started making fixtures of uh, for some of the house stuff <clears throat> which I'll show you and it has special ways to do things so it's like you have to have all these skill sets to actually do this so I'm going to do the best I can I didn't plan this out I, I don't make money off of this so for anybody else who's watching this this is actually going to be kind of for the light people and I will try to keep it as succinct. I'm using my cell phone because we actually have several screens um, that we that we actually use, and that'll be the the theater stage. Um, so I will try to. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to teach has to do with like I have to um, create. Um, I have to show in order to learn teach you how to program lights. Um, I have to also teach you like how to just make some basic light scenes and some basics of what it is, but I'm going to be going really fast and really, um, someone needs to kind of learn themselves some of these extra functions, like what a cue is, but I will try to start from the top. Um, but let me show you where we're going to end up. We're going to end up making, uh, timelines <clears throat> with music and putting, putting uh, scenes on top. So I'm gonna do one really fast and that'll be like anybody who's like, oh, I just needed to know this. All right, here we go. The way we do it here is I create a lot of window sections, like window setups, okay? And I have them up here on the top. And very quickly, the way you do a window setup is you're gonna hit shift, close. Okay, that's how you get rid of all these windows, okay? And then what you would do is you would call up which windows you want. For example, pages, um, all right, so like program, all right? So we hit the program button and now that's the program, all right? Now, if I hit this little thing up here, I can make this different sizes, all right? So for us, this window is this left window, and this fourth one is the right window. So let me just put this to the left. So I drug this here, all right? And I'm gonna hit close, and as you can see, it fills in this, it's pretty simple. So let me tell you about the difference between a queue and a queue stack. A queue is like one light scene, a stack would be several of them. When you make a timeline, you're gonna make a queue stack. So I'll hit the queue button, all right? And then notice it went on top of this and we're gonna come up here, drag Q to here, all right? Now, I can hit close and that's where it is. Now, we do a lot with the timeline, which you're gonna need. Timeline is over here, but within each window, there are lots of other windows. Like here's the timeline, but this isn't the one I want. So I'm coming up here to the top and I'm going to find this editor. This thing popped up here. This is what the timeline looks like. I have it real long and skinny. Some people might want it to fill up. I'll tell you multiple screens for editing. It's fantastic. Now I come back up here to find all my stuff. So what's going on? I got a timeline that's filling up this whole thing. And I got this other one that's filling up this one here on the bottom. So just for the fun of it for now, I will put this one on the top. All right, I gotta get this one here. All right, so now there's a timeline on top and bottom, but usually I don't do this. And I would hit close, and this is how a scene is created. And then I would hit record and a button. So I have like layout one, two, three, which I can use, but they're already set. So if you're working here, do not change any of these, um, but I can save it on these. So like some of these have run show, organize show, pages, etc. okay? I have one, so when I log in at home and I only have one monitor because I'm on uh, on one of these, uh, what are they called? Um, gosh, uh, Team Viewer, when I'm doing some programming off of Team Viewer, okay? So that is it. 
the function you need to learn from this whole thing though is shift close and the point i'm trying to make here is that these things just basically these are the windows and i use these windows and these could change but um if you come up to layout one this right here is group this is all of your lights that you're picking okay so i can come over here and hit clear and then i've cleared all that so if i but if i collect some heads like these are the back spot it's on the floor it says spot floor these would be the color of the spot standard and and the beam so let me just show you real quick so I'm gonna hit spot and then I'm gonna hit locate. So ready, I go locate and see the spots came up. Now I'm gonna go to the position and I'm gonna go like lean. Okay, I can lean more, right? Or I can lean, okay. Now I'll come over here to one of the colors and go like blue, all right, yellow, right? All right, and then this right here is everything to do with beams, strobes and all sorts of stuff. So, Here's go, like gobos if you wanted to do gobos, all right? The last thing we do, which I'll show more, is we can add effects, which basically is makes programming super duper fast. And then once you have a light scene you like, you can hit, you can record it into, um, this thing is called an executive page. So there's several, several of these. I'm going really fast just so you kind of get a general idea and we'll do, go more over this. I got too much fog. Okay, here's our fog. I'm gonna slow that way down. Anyway, you would hit, in order to save a scene, you would hit record and like save it into there. So let's just do that. We'll hit record, save a scene. Da, 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 da. All right, now, next thing you're gonna do is name it. So you would hit set, you type some stuff in, and it'll come up right here. So I'm just gonna go like that. And then you would hit that thing, bang. And then you come over here to button type. You always change it to solo. So I'm gonna be repeating a lot of stuff because best way people learn is by hearing it. The other thing you could do is you could record this into this thing down here. So a lot of people do, this is how they, do their stuff like we put a timeline here that's kick up the music and then this would be like all the scenes they needed for that song chances really wants you to kind of program that way but i like that i can teach people quickly so i create these these uh these pages for each show this is our wild west show all right so now i hit clear now i'm going to pull this slider up okay this is c111 okay now when i pull this up that activates that in all right now i'm gonna get rid of this by hitting uh remove okay some basic functions here remove and hit that thing comes up bang all right i'm gonna get rid of this because it's gonna screw us up later so i hit remove and i touch this sucker and it's gone all right so that is some of the basics of how that works. All right. Now, um, let me do a time, create a timeline really quick. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to create a, a timeline really quick. And then we'll get into all the lights and the idiosyncrasies of the scenes or something like that. All right. So this is an example of a, of a timeline. And I found this by going to layout one. For you guys who don't have this all set up, this is how it would be set up. And you can kind of see it has, um, it has sound bites and these are cues and you, I'll show you how to make them basically and all that kind of stuff. So let's make a new thing. All right, so let's start at, I'm gonna, okay. So layout one is, is basically I got my, my four functions of, of lights. The Q stack will be like the list of all the things. This is, um, this is, I call this my workplace and I will create light scenes like just one light will like flicker around. It's white in a spot and I need that because it's in the audience several times so I can pull from that and add it to it very quickly. Um, and so that's that one. And then I go to layout number two 
And on this one, I have a little bit of the basic light stuff in case, because, you know, colors, changing colors are usually first thing I need. This is the programmer. Programmer is where everything's done. So, like, when you start programming, it goes in the programmer. And then once it's created, you can record it somewhere else, as we talked about. But, again, every page has several pages. Like, in this programmer, they have times and effects and view levels. Okay, but I digress. Now, layout number three is <clears throat> the queue stack information. Remember, a queue stack is several queues. It will be your timeline will be also a queue stack, which is... Um, confusing and this is called magic HD for anybody doing video I will add that that's a whole world in itself all right where we are we are 10 minutes into this video and let's <clears throat> so what I need to do is find this thing called pages so I'm just gonna do it like this shift close and then I will find pages pages is right up here we also have it up here all right so but go page and my page came up right here and so what is a page a page is basically all this um these these buttons and knobs so the way champsys is a great company i just absolutely love them and they're fantastic and what they do is they give you the software for free and then they make it so and then they want you to buy the interface. It's kind of, I don't even know how to explain it, but so you can actually buy this, learn it and stuff. And you'll be like, well, why do I need the interface? If you programmed everything, you honestly, you could get by without doing it. But boy, the interface is like such a massive thing that you end up wanting it, saving all your money for it. So it works. But the way it works is there's these sets of pages and I'm trying to get to these pages. So here is my pages. And like this one right here is called run lights. And I made that by going to that other thing, calling up some lights and then saving them to here. And then I would have some functions. So this page has to do with our basic functions like front lights, some side lights, and this is where whenever we wanna add things. This is our what we call our mirror. These are our blinders. And then this is like the wash lights and we can change their colors. But like if you wanna call up a scene, you're like, oh shoot, well, let's just get some washers and I'll flash some blinders. That's, that's the way a lot of people just work. But this is for like when you're programming, this whole thing has to do with programming lights. And boy, there's so much to learn before you learn it. So to start out, we're going to find a blank spot. These are all of our songs, by the way. And the way they are set up is we have group acts and they are in shows. So this is our Wild West show. So I set up the opening the in the group and see how it says WW, that's our identifier. WW is Wild West show, SW is Star Wars, H is for Halloween, 20s is for 20. And I have to make them really short because they don't give you very much room. All right. So to, one of these pages has to do with this whole thing here and your ability to turn them up and down. For example, here is the Wild West opening. And if I press there and I push this up. Hello. That's, that's, that's part one, part two. Now, if I go to the next one, this is here and I push this up, I got a whole new set of lights. So that's what a page is. And I had to kind of figure this out. And so I personally like to put one song on each page. We put the main timeline far to the left and I put other programs here. So a lot of the flashes I will put here, okay? And the, generally the way you're going to program is you're gonna have a timeline that you're gonna just put like you know, blue, greens, yellow spots, and then you're going to flash things. And when you flash, you record. And you'll just like record, you'll hit the record button and we'll show you how to do that. And I'm gonna make a new video and we're gonna start straight for the timeline.